Hi everyone, I thought we'd talk about head pins today. I made a very um, happy discovery when I was teaching in Las Vegas in March. And that is that when I made head pins using 620 enamel, that they did not crack. They did not crack or break. And that was thrilling to me because everybody who has my book or has been around the Painting with Fire name for a while understands how temperamental head pins can be. These are just your standard, ordinary enamel head pins, and this is what happens when they crack. Just a piece of it will just pop right off. These were just made with the 620 enamel. So let me tell you what the 620 enamel is. It's, uh, 620 refers to the mesh size. That means that in the linear inch where there are six openings, all of this enamel will fit through a screen. In a screen with 20 openings per linear inch, none of the enamel will fit through that. So that means that there's a variety of sizes in the enamel. So this is red and I've got copper transparent. And I thought I would give you a little demo today. I'm using 22 gauge wire. If you have never made a head pin before, you might want to start with 22 gauge because it will ball up more easily. Actually, we're melting the end of the wire and it's falling up. You want to uh, be more aggressive about getting this in the right spot of the flame. Uh, you don't want to slowly heat it up because the more oxidation that builds up on the wire, uh, the harder it's going to be for the wire to melt. Hold your container uh, of enamel a little bit closer to the um, torch flame because we want the heated ball of metal to be hot when it uh, enters the um, pan of enamel. So I'm go going to go ahead and start my torch. And you might want to leave your torch on a, uh, a more intense flame than you normally would. Just going to ball it up a little bit. Dip it in the enamel. Bring it back to the flame. Pull it out. Let it cool off. See, you can see the glow go off of the uh, enamel. Just put it into the tray. So let's go ahead and do another one. Let's do the transparent enamel. Pull it up just slightly. Another dip into the uh, copper transparent. Pull it out, let, it, let the glow go off the enamel, and then put it in the tray, and it's just as simple as that. So there's nothing special I had to do. I uh, didn't have to put medium fusing clear as my first coat, didn't have to use vermiculite to gently, uh, gradually cool it. This is it. So I think you're going to be happy with the results when you try this. Thanks a lot.